Anyway, <laughs> about that next topic. Yeah. Yeah, please. moving on. Yeah, I had that one sucker out of the way. The other one, it, it, she was still being pretty, um... Out pretty, there. It, pretty out there. And no, no like, even after BronyCon, she started to, like, continue showing... It, it pulling off with such a strong ego, like, a really thick-ass ego. It, that really annoyed me so much. Like, he, she, she kept saying that she had, she has, like... She does 48 uh, impression uh, like, vo uh, voices. And I only hear her was just Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. And I see nothing in her resume that that involves her other forty-eight voices, um, and she even kept uh, bringing bringing people in her drama that uh, that she that she um, is heavily obsessed with, and it pissed me off. Uh, and, and thanks to Wellcake, she exposed her because of her bad ego. And after that, she left if, if four months if for uh, four months later. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey. She yeah, I'm glad like Loves told her off and just shut up because she had a bad ego. Oh, it's even worse because she kept saying she kept faking her age. She kept faking her age that she's 14, 16, 18, 21. Yeah. That's asking for trouble. We don't know how young she we don't know how old she is, and she claims that she's and that she's owned by the Japanese government. Uh what? I ain't buying that. I don't think anyone would. Because mm -hmm. if you were owned by a government, you probably wouldn't be seen IRL. And and the way she acts, it, it kind of makes us believe that she's schizophrenic or something. <laughs> it's like either that, or she's just heavily embellishing herself. Say you can't you can't call yourself a proclaimed voice actor if the if the only voices you do sound exactly like John Wayne. I do I I voice act, but I don't see myself that highly. Thank you, Desert. There's Not a, because you can't boy... call yourself a proclaim. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But There's yeah. a samurai, my boy. Even though we don't know each other really, but it's still awesome the stuff that you're saying. I like it, so I'm now considering you one of my boys. <laughs> oh yeah, and Morpheus for uh, to get the one who was calling out on the stalker was Wellcake. Talented voice actress. She mostly does voices of of uh, Sansa Shimmer and uh, Adagio. Mm -hmm. hmm. Right I'm completely lost. I have no idea where to go. Uh... Yes. I assume this game doesn't have like a map mechanic that you can pull up. Well, when it you're does in have a map area. function. It's just that this is probably like one of the trickiest parts of the game. Like you're. Oh, I just noticed that you're doing. You're playing an underwater stage. Ugh. Well, I could still move around normally. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. The suits have the suits heavy enough to basically make it a normal situation. Yeah, I've already mm -hmm. been there. Um, okay, let's let's look elsewhere. <sighs> also, from what I, from what I'm gathering, it looks like you're actually just in some kind of really elaborate aquarium maze, and you're not actually in the water. Yeah, it's it's bizarre and oh, fuck off. Anyways, um, actually. Last one here. Okay, I got. I found something here. Good. Oh, it's just. This... Yay! More people that consider me awesome. Everything is awesome. Yep. I like in the in the YouTube. Book. It's very good. Mufasa going like it's very good. <laughs> <sighs> also, I I learned something really funny recently. Hmm. In the Hercules movie, when Hercules takes on the Nemean Lion, the Nemean Lion is Scar. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he even he's even wearing the head of Scar in another scene, and I'm just like, wow, <laughs> they made Scar I, the Nemean Lion. <laughs> I saw that. That was mind blowing. Also, is it Nemean or Nemean? I I don't I don't know the pronunciation. Yeah, we have someone who fancies himself knowledgeable in like the mythos of Greece. Please tell me if I'm saying it right. Uh, uh, what was the word again? Either Nemean lion or Nemean lion. I think it's Nemean. Not sure. Anyone could like say potato potato. Whatever. Yeah, but potato potato is because there is a like, there is a nation that says potato and a nation that says potato. 
I don't know if there are two different greases. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato, junior. Okay. Twist uh, says neon It looks line. like I'm gonna have to look up the map for this. Ah, uh, neon line. Okay. Alright, well. Also, the only reason I know it's called the Nemean Lion or the Neon Lion or the whatever is because of God of War 3, where you get a weapon called the Nemean Cestus after uh. caving in the skull of Hercules. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. The original God of War trilogy was fun, but the newest God of War, the one that takes you to the world of Norse mythology, it's is beautiful. the best. It's beautiful. Although, me I... and my brother, while was like, one day when the Wi-Fi was out, me and my brother were playing the new God of War together, and I had a really amazing idea that I kind of wish they had done for the game. Mm. They should have made an optional co-op mode where one of you plays as Atreus. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been amazing. A local co-op game that is as good as that game. I do want to see, um... Like, um... I actually saw the, the, the documentary in movie on how they made God of War. They spent five years making it. I am 100% the opposite of surprise. And that also means that a lot of forethought went into it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, also, I also, now, like, I, also, now that I have space to breathe, have either of you given any consideration to the weird question I asked earlier about the nature of Samus in Metroid Fusion? Mm. The one where I said, like, has there ever been a theory about whether or not she's... Um, like actually Samus or if SAX is Samus and we're just watching from the perspective of a Metroid. Oh. Or something like that. It sounds, it, like you're try it, it sounds like you're trying to make a creepy pasta. No, it's like the reason I asked is like it's probably is like well it's definitely false because it's all but confirmed that you are playing Samus. But the reason I like to think about it is because like SAX wears a full suit of something that looks exactly like the original Varia suit, point for point. It looks exactly the same, and apart from her eyes, it looks pretty human and like actual Samus. So it just got me thinking, what if we're just a hyper-evolved Metroid and actual Samus is trying to kill us, and because of the nature of the situation, we just see her as a monster. Like the Knights of the Holy Grail? <laughs> I don't know. Not my, not my question, it was Twist's question. <laughs> it's like, basically what I'm asking is, like, has anyone ever hypothesized something like this? I don't know. Hell. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to look at a YouTube video to explain this shit. Because I'm, it's like, I'm not lost. It's like, I'm not pulling a game theory and saying that Sans is nest. I'm just... Because I know that you are playing as Sans. But I'm just saying, like the potential for interpreting it that way is really interesting. Alright. I better get ready to meet the video very quickly. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> you you just recommended me those old uh, movie trailers of Stitch crashing a Disney movie trailers. Oh, those are classic. I love them. I, I even lost in, in the Aladdin one. <laughs> Oh no, like, I cracked I up. Jasmine had a thing. Jasmine had a thing for Stitch. Yeah, no, um, I cracked up when it came to the um when it Lion came King? to the Yeah, because uh, like hey, Timon that's not Simba. And there's like a record sound and freaking Rafiki dropped. I'm like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> no. You just know Stitch would either destroy everything in the Lion Kingdom, I guess is what we call it. Yeah. Or yeah just become some kind of evil alien overlord and through those actions also destroy the entire Lion King. Ow. Stitch would be like the Kratos of the Lion Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would that make Simba the Zeus of that situation or Scar the, the Zeus of that situation? You know what? I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess it depends which one sends Stitch to hell first. <laughs> I mean, I guess the hyenas kind of do their job for Scar. Mm. I don't know. I'm just wild mm -hmm. guessing. Also, I know it sounds weird to try comparing these lions to there gods and go. shit, okay. but ever since, it's like ever since the lion god was introduced, and there were actually godlike powers being distributed like a bargain sale to all of these random African animals. 
I'm willing to believe that some kind of weird demigod situation exists in the Lion Kingdom. Oh boy. You mean the Pride Lanes? Okay, security yeah. room. Oh. That's the name, the Pride Lanes. Yeah, every time I hear Lion Kingdom, it sounds like it sounds like it's Animal Kingdom, but only with uh, the festival of the Lion King ride. <laughs> ah. ah, I've activated the red doors. Yes. Okay, now I can access. Uh... It's like. It's like... It's like, only, it's like the it's like you're saying the only attraction that's available at the Animal Kingdom is is the Lion King show. <laughs> I pay for that. <laughs> from now on, it's like from now on, it's no longer called the Pride Lands. It is called the Lingo Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Lingo, Lingo Kingdom. Kingdom. Lingo Kingdom. <laughs> I approve. Like like, how did the editor even come up with a name like that? It just sounds funny. I don't know, it sounds perfect. You might have been experimenting or something. A lot of YouTubers uh, do experimentation with, with video editing. You know what? That actually makes too much sense. Oh, there's mm -hmm. a save point up here? Ow! Get, that, get out of my way! I do miss doing YouTube poops because they were always fun to make. It's just that oh, I didn't... They're, yeah, no. The one that I always loved watching was called Toys Gone Wild. That was one of my first YouTube poops I've seen. Yeah, thanks to the. I, that's how I was introduced to the What the Fuck Boom. What oh, the fuck? That's, that's when I it got first introduced with the fuck you, Voldemort. <laughs> you. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're going to sweat come to Big Hill Hell's cars. Bad if deals. Car is a breakdown. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You, you heard, heard us right. right. Shove, shove it up, up your ugly ass. ass. <laughs> 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 Go choke yourself. I I used up my full <sighs> lung. I used up my full lung capacity with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that video. Oh yeah. I don't suppose you guys can give me some context on what Thom was just asked me. He tagged me and said Pyro Tyan Europe. What? It just I... says Tyo I mean, Pyro Tyan Europe, what do you think? I don't think because I don't know. Tyan Europe. <laughs> I mean, what... Europe? You, I mean... Wait, I think he's I think he's trying to come up with a name for Tyan Dega as a Pyro. Oh. Oh, and I called it. Ty Dega was going to be the next member of a TF2. <sighs> okay, so apparently I have to... First take care of this. Oh, Wait, there's, there's really it's no time way. Dog, it's time Dog if you use a Valiora. I'm uh, oh. not sure. I don't know both. It's like, I don't know if uh. both of them have a connection that like, would make Ellie's a already, relevant. Ellie's already married. Yeah. Thank you, Season. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't go over here. It's like, I'm still learning, but because of the specific people in specific situations oh, I've been room. privy to, I'm fully aware of how fusions in the analyst community actually work. And it's not just like, do the fusion dance or throw around some Patara earrings, it's more than that. Now it's we a need Steven Ty Universe type of fusion. Now we need Ty and Dega super form. <laughs> There's nothing there. What got you guys the idea to uh, to come up with super forms in TF2? Uh, Content. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. God damn it. <laughs> also, I'm gonna be honest. Before Golden like showed off his Golden Link super form, I was convinced he was gonna turn into some kind of giant spectral phoenix spirit creature. Actually, no, that was the original idea, but it had to be scrapped for two reasons. One of which is that as soon as I mentioned something with the Phoenix, Josh was like, oh, you mean like Phoenix from uh, X-Men? I'm like, I don't watch X-Men, dude. And the other of which is that it would have been like either too OP for them or um, there was another thing. Ah. Uh, it would have been too much the same like with uh, the Ubertastic one with um, the keyframes. <laughs> yeah, Season so just... says for Ty for for Ty's super form, he will just he will just get a red nose. <laughs> also, Thalms, the only reason I said fusion was because Morpheus made reference to fusion and said that's what you were saying, so that's not on me, so thanks bye. <laughs> Don't do that whole thanks anyway shit with me. You'll find my patience depletes rapidly when somebody tries to step to me about shit I haven't done. So I'm gonna wear a big old smile on my face and pretend you didn't. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't give us attitude. Otherwise, we're gonna be mean with you. With you. 
Unless you didn't, in which case, sorry. You know. For, for a... Okay, Tanadega super form, he just gains a red nose. <laughs> so, uh. he, so he's Rudolph. Well, I mean, he's the only deer in Equestria that actually have a nose, from what I remember of that Christmas special. Wait, what? Yeah, the friggin' reindeer in the Christmas special didn't actually have the actual reindeer noses. Yeah, they don't. Like, they just have... Yeah, they don't have a black nose. It's like, maybe Equestrian reindeer have, like, normal horse snoot noses or something? I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to explain what was just base level design on the part of the Okay, creators. so I can't go with those areas yet. Also, hi, Jesse. Here's Jesse! <laughs> hey, look, hi, it's Jesse. a Kiri. Oh, came back for some more Kieran ass. <laughs> Grab that booty. Grab that scaly booty. <laughs> also, oh, that, to... like, also, since we're on the topic of super forms, what would, like, for me, Jesse and EG, what would our super forms be? I want to talk about that for a little bit. Like, I know we're not in TF2, and we're not going to be in TF2, because that's for, yeah. like, that's for all the, like, that's for you guys, that's your thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, that's your territory, I... you guys made that, it's not my thing. But I mean, just super forms in general. I already have a really obvious idea from mine, but I want to hear EG and Jesse's. 